Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another joined movie review. In this review, I'll be reviewing The Mule and Vice. So, first off, The Mule. This is another Clint Eastwood movie, uh, directed by Clint Eastwood, starring Clint Eastwood. Bradley Cooper is in this one. Also, again, um, he's got a lot out at the end of this year. Allison Eastwood is in this movie. I don't know if there's any actual relation. Uh, maybe there is. I don't know. Uh, Michael Pena, Andy Garcia, Lawrence Fishburne. This is a great cast. Um, <coughs> so this is a movie about an old retired man who's kind of alone and um, he needs some extra money. And so he, he decides to be a mule for a drug cartel. Um because there's this guy who gives him a number at his daughter's, uh, I don't know what it was, marriage, wedding party, I don't know what the, engagement party, I don't know what you call any of those things. If you're a fan of Clint Eastwood, you're going to love this movie. Um, it's very similar in tone to Gran Torino. If you like Gran Torino, you're going to like this one. It's it's what you can expect from Clint Eastwood. I think he's going to get nominated for Best Director. He's a fantastic director. Um, he does. He has a great performance uh in this movie, and uh, I didn't know how this movie was going to turn out. Uh, I guess it is based loosely on a true story. Um, I, I don't know how true, um, but uh, yeah, he he does a spectacular job, and uh, he's just kind of like, man, he's he's like such a defeated old man. Um, I know things like this, man. Uh, I guess well, it's hard to give anything away. All all, all I'll say is. It's, this is this is um I almost said Tarantino. This is a Clint Eastwood, um, just doing Clint Eastwood. Um, it, it's what you can expect. Um, I don't know that'll get nominated for Best Picture, but definitely I think he will get a Best Director, um, nomination. Um, yeah, that world of of drugs and. Uh, dealing with that criminal element, it's not something that uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't recommend it. <laughs> uh, I do not. Uh, anyways, if you're a Clint Eastwood fan, go see this movie. Uh, on their Star Strider scale, I would give the mule a 77. And so next up is Vice. This movie is about uh, Dick Cheney. Uh, it's kind of a biopic. Um, yeah, it's pretty much a biopic. Starting, starting when... Uh, He's about college age. He gets thrown out of Yale and works kind of some dead end jobs. And it's his, it's his wife really uh, that pushes him to to do better. And he gets into politics, uh, starting with uh, Nixon and all that stuff. Anyways, anybody who knows about Dick Cheney, um, th 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 this won't be news to them. And uh, you know, when I was not a fan of the George Bush administration, uh, mostly for a lot of the stuff they did in. Yeah, I don't want to get too political. Uh, they did, uh, as far as in terms of foreign policy, but I always suspected or felt like George Bush was really just up there, like a uh, puppet, I guess. Um, and I suspected that Dick Cheney and and the rest of the staff were the ones really running the show. And I think a lot of people felt that way. And again, this movie pushes that that idea. Um, it's directed by Adam McKay, who also did uh, that Wall Street, that collapse movie. Uh, oh my gosh, why can I not remember? Um, it was called uh, The Big Short. That's right, The Big Short. And he also did The Other Guys. Well, he produced the other guys, but he, he wrote The Big Short. And you could tell the style is very similar to The Big Short, where you have... It breaks the fourth wall sometimes, and other times it takes you completely out of the movie. There were certain elements that I thought really took you out. And again, you have, much like in the big short, you'll have somebody narrating to you, talking to you, like trying to you know, tell you, like, oh, this and that happened. And it's evident that he's more on the left um, as far as his politics. Um, and you can tell he was not a fan of Bush. There's a lot of things that Clinton did. I, I mean, I guess it makes sense just to skip over that, right? I mean, because there was no... Uh, uh, there were no Republicans in office during Clinton, so it would make more sense to just look at uh, Nixon and Ford, and then uh, Reagan Bush one. Uh, Bush one also has a little cameo in this, and then really you want to get to George Bush. Uh, he doesn't go into Trump really. I mean, I guess he does a little bit, but uh, some things are cut in a way to insinuate that. 
the current president started certain things or certain policies that he didn't but I mean whatever that's at the very end during like a montage kind of like oh like oh here's where we are now um I think um oh yeah the cast the, the cast is spectacular this uh movie has Christian Bale Amy Adams Steve Carell and Sam Rockwell all of these are fantastic actors uh, Sam Rockwell does really good as George Bush um I think Sam Rockwell won the Oscar last year if I'm not mistaken for three billboards outside of uh, Ebbing, Missouri. Steve Carell is great as Donald Rumsfeld. Donald Rumsfeld. Uh, Amy Adams is spectacular as uh, Lynn Cheney, Dick Cheney's wife. I think Christian Bale is the front runner to win the Oscar. I think this is his year to win the Oscar. Um, he he completely became Dick Cheney, and again, um, he actually gained the weight to be the Dick Cheney. He didn't wear a fat suit. Um, this guy, like, gains and loses weight for roles. Like, I don't know if that's healthy, but he did it, and I I think he's my favorite to win the Oscar. I don't think it'll win Best Picture. I don't think it'll win Best Writing, but I, I think Christian Bale will win for uh, Best Actor. Also, I think Amy Adams is going to get a nomination uh, for Best uh Best Actress, and I wouldn't be surprised if Steve Carell gets the Best Supporting Actor. The actors really are what did it. Adam McKay, as, as far as him being Best Director, I don't think so, because there's too many there's too many times where it takes you out of the movie. Um, I was very fascinated with a lot of this this movie, and if I had to describe it in one word, it, w it would be it would be fascinating. Um, yeah, I find it fascinating. I always love learning things. You know, I, I know it's a movie. It's not 100%, you know, accurate fact. And, you, you, you know, certain things, only the people who were there know really how they went down. Um, so, it, you know, I, I don't know where he got what. And, and you can ascribe abs intentions to certain people. But really, when someone commits an action, only they knew what they meant by doing that action. Everyone else can interpret uh, that however they want but really it's it's like when someone says a joke or says something and somebody gets offended well really the only person who knows what they meant was the person who said it <laughs> the person who said it knows what they meant when they said it um anyways so uh vice uh on the star scale i'd i would give it uh i would give it an an eighty one I I I was I was pretty enthralled the whole time, and a lot of the humor I got too. But some of it, some they do this Shakespeare thing at one point. It just I was like, oh come on, please, that was a terrible idea. That that was probably the worst part of the movie. And and the the actors couldn't, they just couldn't sell it. Regardless, I still think Christian Bale should get the Oscar. Um, but that that scene was dumb. <laughs> I think that was all Adam McKay, so I don't think he should get a Best Director nomination. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Um, did you watch it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? You don't care? Who's Dick Cheney? Who's Clint Eastwood? Anyways, leave your comments below, like, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Okay, bye. Commander out. Bye.